All right, Streets of Tarkov, the map I simultaneously love and utterly despise. It entirely depends on what time it is in Tarkov. During the day, I hate this map. At night, it's okay, but we'll get to that. I have a list of complaints about this map. Um, first of all, the PvP is not good during the day. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really bad, actually. I think every other map has better PvP. On average, the only good PvP you're gonna get on this map is when both you and another player are in the same building and you're both aware of each other's presence. This can be interesting and it can be thrilling, but if I'm being entirely honest, it's not that common. Like, on a map this big with this many buildings with people who don't move as much nowadays, actually getting these fights are incredibly rare. I, I, <laughs> I ran this map a lot, I rushed some high traffic buildings, didn't really get much PvP at all. And even if I did want this style of PvP, I would just go to dorms or shoreline because it's just a lot easier to get, it's a lot more common. If I'm in the mood for PvP, streets is absolutely not it. The only other common place you are going to get PvP is when Kaban spawns in, you hear the grenades going off, you hear the machine guns. So you rush on over there to find some poor dude huddled next to a fence as he's getting shot at, and then you just quickly one-tap him because he's very distracted with Kaban and his guards. Then you go up and you take his place, and next thing you know, you're the person who gets third-partied. So it's it's not that great in my opinion. Speaking of Kaban, why are there claymores? Why, why, why are there magic claymores just on the ground that insta-murder you? Like, I get that's realistic, but at least the landmines are a two-step process, whereas this one just gets you done instantly, and it's incredibly frustrating, especially considering the fact that they don't make any sense. Claymores, in order to work, need to either be manually activated by a detonator, or there needs to be a tripwire that you snag with your foot before you get blown to smithereens. The mystical laser-acted claymores from Call of Duty Black Ops 1 do not exist unless they are homemade, which, homemade explosives, sounds like a brilliant idea. Um, but if you look at these claymores, um, Dimitri, where is the tripwire? I don't see it. Even, even if you tried to say they were manually detonated, that doesn't make any sense because, I mean, even when Kaban isn't in Lexos, the claymores are there, so it just kind of sucks. PvP basically anywhere other than at the Lexos building or inside a building is characterized by, oh, I was inside a building and they were outside and I one-tapped them because how the hell are they gonna know where I am? If you're outside and you start getting shot at, you don't know if somebody is outside with you in a bush or if they are inside of one of many potential windows. There are a lot of sniper scabs that can see you from way too far away. They even see inside the windows, like, yeah, good luck, ain't no way, but you know, scab AI go brrrr. Even the regular scabs can get pretty annoying because there's like 15 of them at all times trying to kill you, so by the time you run through all of them, you're either out of ammo or another player has just come by and head ears you, so. Scavs can get pretty annoying. Tasking on this map during the day is an absolute bitch. Tasking on this map can basically be summed up with, where the hell am I? Is it on this shelf? No. Is it on this shelf? Nope. Is it on this shelf? Nope. <sighs> well, I had the key because I had to do a quest in here last time. But it's a single use key, so now I have to go get the same key from the same place to go into the same exact room that I was in for the last Ragman quest. Thank you, Ragman, you asshole. All right, um, I'm gonna do a quick disclaimer. Besides maybe some of the quest sequencing and the magic claymores, most of the issues that I have with this map are not the fault of the map designers, nor are they the fault of the map, really. It all boils down to the fact that when you play this map, you are participating, to a certain extent, in urban warfare. And urban warfare absolutely sucks. There's a reason that rule one in the doctrine of urban warfare is do not freaking participate in urban warfare if you can avoid it. So while I can't really fault the design of the map, 
I'm still gonna say that it sucks to play on during the day. All that being said, when it comes to dawn, dusk, or during the night, I absolutely love to play on this map. I don't know what it is, but they really nailed that lone soldier left behind in a dead city, absolutely crawling with danger. I don't know what it is, but that really appeals to me. Also, all the minor details are incredibly well done. When I'm not being absolutely assaulted by a shitstorm of scavs or one taps out of nowhere from PMCs just chilling in the windows, I can actually take my time and focus on all the minor details that have been placed around that really flesh out the map as a whole. The stuff that really makes it feel like a lived-in city that had to be hastily evacuated and all these people just left their lives behind. It ranges from, you know, a book left open and a half mug of coffee that somebody was gonna come back to just still sitting there waiting for its owner's return to an interesting diorama created by someone who was probably just bored in an office. Sometimes I stumble into details that just make me laugh. Like, I'm not going to expressly say what this is, but, um... That's just impressive. Another thing I loved about the streets ambience is you could go from these small little details that showed you the life that once was to the utter depravity and horror that it has become. Even just the props and stuff laying around the map can creep you out. It's so well done. I was heading towards the extract at the sewer and I heard footsteps in front of me and I thought, you know what, that guy's right at the extract. I just want to leave. I'm going to hang back a little bit. I'm going to go into this building to take cover. What the hell is that? This Lovecraftian Last Supper is just one of the many details. There's also all the guys strewn, all the dead scavs strewn about the, the map that have their hands cut off. That's creepy. The cultist, the, the, the mannequin room, bro. The first time I walked into the mannequin room, I dumped half a mag into this. This scared the hell out of me. The cultist imagery on this map is just so well done that honestly, I really, really hope cultists get added all over the place at nighttime streets. They're gonna need a lot of tweaking because if they maintained the insane accuracy suppressed weapons that cultists typically have, that's gonna be a major problem. It's gonna be completely unfair. But maybe if they switched them to melee only or a lot dumber, I think they would be a great addition to nighttime streets. In my opinion, the most fun way to play Streets of Tarkov is to go in at night and focus almost entirely on surviving. Just slowly make your way throughout the map and try to live. Really just embrace that idea of a lone soldier who was left behind just doing everything he can to not die. Normally, I hate this playstyle. I think it's too slow, it's mundane, and there isn't much thrill to it, but the ambience and just the feel of nighttime streets makes it work for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not saying to completely ignore PvP, uh, take the opportunities that are presented and sometimes insane stuff will happen. Like, I killed two people with that. I don't know how, but I did. In my opinion, this way of thinking makes every encounter, whether it's a crap ton of scabs or a few PMCs, a lot more interesting and when you do eventually get those insane fights with other PMCs then you remember them a lot more than just an average custom scuffle. So in summary playing Streets of Tarkov like I'm playing Escape from Tarkov uh, misery absolutely hate it. Playing Streets of Tarkov at night and pretending I'm the rookie from Halo 3 ODST with the soundtrack in the background as I play absolutely awesome love it s tier so yeah if you're not a uh pvp ultra sweat i highly recommend you give this a try and otherwise um don't play streets because i hate it other than that we are getting really close to 100,000 subscribers which i never thought was possible but here we are so that's pretty freaking cool um thank you so much for that uh 400,000 i'm going to be doing a Q&A solely because I don't really talk about myself that much on this channel. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And 
I'll answer most of them. The more personal ones are going to remain private, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end. It really does mean a lot to me. And I hope you enjoyed.